Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield back in the presence of somebody I admire and adore. Lindsay Hately, how are you? Hello, that's very nice. Thank you very much. It's been a while since I last spoke to you. You did two and a half years in Mamma Mia and you knocked it out the park with that. But I said in my review, I couldn't tell that you were a genius in that. I could tell you were very good. In this, we get to see the proper Lindsay, the true star that you are. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I... I I've wanted to play the part for quite a while and I didn't get the chance to do it before, but I'm absolutely thrilled to get the chance. It's uh, it's it's very me, I think, and um, I'm loving it, really loving it. We're here at Barnum, which is touring the UK for more than a year. It's the story of the greatest showman on earth. You're the lady who steals the hearts and you do. You get some great numbers and then there's an ensemble behind you, there's a circus show behind you, there's lighting behind you and a beautiful set that really makes this a perfect production. Congratulations. Thank you. I, I mean, I have to say, it is so collective I mean, I think what's quite unusual about this and, and right from the first day of rehearsals was that there was a, a huge amount of respect for everybody because we all bring our own strengths to it. I mean, you know, what the ensemble are doing is unbelievable. I mean, we wouldn't look anywhere near as good if we hadn't got them around us. Working with Brian is just fantastic. You know, he's generous, he's warm, he's funny, and he is the ultimate showman. So he is perfect for this part. I'm thrilled for him that he's got the opportunity to do it because I can't think of anybody more suitable um, and I get the chance to do all the stuff that I love doing and hopefully bring my strengths to it so it really is it's, it's a great thing yeah this truly is a West End standard production I mean the lighting in it is stunning which again I know it sounds silly but without that you look rubbish without a great set you look rubbish and then we look at your performance I mean you are a Broadway leading lady it's that good and for us to get that in the regions is exceptional thank you for coming first oh thank you I mean that's 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 very very high praise thank you I am um, I have to say it was a big deal to do because I'm I'm a mom and um, to sort of be away from my daughter and to tour which is the first time I've ever done it was was a really big decision to make and I'm just thrilled that having opened it here in Leicester and the response that it's getting I I think it's going to be worthwhile and and hopefully there is there is a bigger future. I'm talking to you probably on the worst time ever on opening week on a Saturday in between two shows how are you feeling are you okay firstly? Oh, I'm a little bit exhausted I'm not gonna lie um, but I don't know I mean I, just the audience response is so incredible and uh, it, it's just it's very contagious and and uh, you know it really is a delight to do I mean Leicester has been fantastic it will be interesting to see from venue to venue how the audiences respond but if they're anything like this then I think it should be a good year there's a sort of Cirque du Soleil element to this which I loved if you've ever seen the Vegas shows they sort of have a pre-show which sets up what's going to happen and there's the guys in the audience so from the minute we're sort of on edge and you need to be with this show because it is the story of a man who created creates a circus but becomes the circus well I, I, to be perfectly honest I think we're all on edge uh, I, you know if if anything is made look easy it, it really isn't it is blooming difficult and and there are things that every show go wrong um, my juggling was hopeless this afternoon um, <laughs> but you know the, and I only do a little bit but it, 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 there are so many elements that, that are very because it's live theatre and there will be things that go wrong but that actually creates a very exciting atmosphere when you're in that moment where you've got the pin focus on you and it's all about you and you're able to shine, there's a few moments in this show where you're given beautiful songs, really proper, great, big musical numbers. Is there any way of describing that feeling? I presume the tiredness leaves you immediately. Um, oh, does it leave me? I, I don't know. I've, I, I've got, as I've got older, I've become more nervous about performing. So in a funny sort of way, the, the more the spotlight is on me, the more pressure I put upon myself. Um, I, I can only say that I feel huge hugely supported by the people that are around me and there is just a huge amount of respect for everybody we just I think because like I mentioned because we, we're all here for our different skills that there's just this this massive amount of support and respect so I although I feel vulnerable at times I think when it's my moments I feel very um, very lucky to have the team around me this show's got proper talent, isn't it? And you can't guarantee just because you buy a ticket, unfortunately, you're going to get an amazing show. You've got to pick wisely now. Mm. And I think with this particularly, I, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of slightly bigging myself and Brian up here, but actually I think what seems to be being recognised is that actually this show is very much about, it's a love story, that ultimately there is a huge love story going on and, and you really do need to get the chemistry right between the Barnum and the Cherry and we get on great and, you know, we have a 
a lot of love and respect for each other and I think that seems to be just oozing across the audience and uh, it's it's lovely to get the response that we're getting. And the moral to this story is in show business you will often be tempted with many people and many things but don't end up with a clown. That's basically what we're saying. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, or if, if you're the clown then make sure you've got a decent <laughs> wife behind you who's going to sort of, you know, keep you rooted when it all goes wrong. When you go on tonight, you've done it once already today, how do you pull it out? Where will you get the energy from to do it again and make it look like it's the first time you've ever done it? Um, well, that's what we're paid to do. You know, it's uh, that whatever job you you choose in life, you know, you, you do. Well, I'd like to think that whatever I'd chosen to do, I would try and do the best of my ability. And I, I, seeing the kind of response that the audience gets and because you're very, very exposed out there, you know, you, you owe it to yourself to just give the best you can. Um, the toughest I find it is when I'm not feeling 100 percent. And and that's when I wish I got an office job when I've got a cold. You know, it's, <laughs> that, that's when it's, it's particularly tough. But um, but I'm very lucky and it. it this one particularly is a pleasure to do. We haven't had time to talk about your career. You've done everything and so illustrious. I mean, you've had such a diverse career and such an amazing career. Do you realise how special you are and what you give to audiences? I mean, that oh. talent is so beautiful. You can't be taught it. Oh, gosh, no, that's, uh, that's lovely. No, I mean, most important thing to me is being a mum. And um, my girl's arriving today, so I can't wait to see her. So that's that's really the most important thing. And I guess that's the blessing of life when you've got all that stuff behind the scenes, right? Doing stuff you know on what? stage really that, puts it, it in perspective. Absolutely does. It's, it's it, it kind of it makes everything else worthwhile. And um, yeah, I, I, without without that, I think it would be a, a different life for me altogether. Lindsay Haightley is certainly one of the biggest stars in the West End and in the world. You are so talented and so gifted. Thank you for your time. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.